Yeah, look, uh, for me the biggest thing was I played cricket in the backyard with my friends because uh, they were cricket fanatics. Um, I just, yeah, it was the only way I could hang out with them. And funny enough, my dad used to watch test cricket um, every single day and I used to get so irritated with him because I used to want to watch you know, cartoons on the weekends and stuff. And, you know, he used to be in front of the TV from like 10 to 5 watching cricket. I'm like, look, they're, they're literally doing the same thing over and over again. And it was one of those things where I was like, well, I can either complain about it or actually just watch it and you know pick up a few things, uh, which is something that I try to incorporate in the backyard games with my friends. And yeah, then from then, you know, I started getting a bit better, improving. I was known as the fielder back then. Could bowl a little bit, bat a little bit. Um, but I used to, just used to like playing garden cricket because I could feel that I could dive around and you know, show how good I am. And then you know when you get to um, High school um, starts getting a little bit competitive. You know, you want to make first team. I remember I made the B team, under 14 B team, or under 15 B team, and yeah, you know, it's not nice making the B team. So I was like, well, I need to try and get better to make the, the A team, and yeah, that's where probably the competitive juice started flowing. That's where I started trying to improve my game. Uh, went to a very small school, so I never really got coached. Um, you know, we had a counting teacher that you know, I think coached me. From uh, grade eight to matric, um, and he just coached. You no, know, he didn't coach me. All I knew was to bowl quick. I couldn't bowl very straight, um, but I could bowl quick, field and bat, and that's all we needed to do to field the field the first team. And then, you know, sort of after that, um, got very straight to uh, UJ, and yeah, that's the first probably bit of coaching I ever got in my whole entire life. That's the first time I figured out that I actually bowled off the wrong foot. Um, and fair enough, um, I think first year I played second team and I remember my first uh, first team game uh, we had Richard Dasnews who at the time was the Gauteng Strikers captain and he saw me bowl in the first team game which was my, actually my debut game and you know, I bowled a bit quickly because I was, you, know, you want to impress the guy, Stephen Cook was playing at the time, uh, Ethan O'Reilly and all, all the Lions guys were playing so for me it was just to you know, to showcase what I could do because you know opportunities come from weird places and yeah I think on that Tuesday Richard Daphne's called me and said listen um, do you want to come to the Wanderers to have a ball and yeah I went and bowled there um, guys were impressed with me a week later I went to the SA University week made the SA University team uh, a week later I made my karting debut took a 5 on debut uh, yeah, and then about six months down the line, I think I made my Lions debut, and then halfway through the season, the Titans offered me a contract, and yeah, here I am. You know, it's, it's, I don't know if it's that attitude from the East Strand where if you try to tell me what to do, you sort of know better, and I'm going to prove you wrong. Um, but you know, besides them letting me just be myself, I think. Even going to a small school like Springs Boys High, where you could be a star in a small school, sort of um, enabled me to, to continue to be the main man. Because had I gone to Cares, you know, who would have known in grade nine with all those um, elite cricketers, I could have given up uh, quite early. So, you know, I, I'm actually grateful that I went to such a small school. I'm grateful that um, my coaches were actually just happy with me doing my own thing and sort of figuring it out. Um, along the way, you know, it's not like he didn't have a clue, you know, he helped me where he could, you know, sure. he knew the basics, you know, whether it's many cricket basics uh, or not, but he knew the basics of cricket, but ultimately the fundamentals, um, I actually only learned that at UJ, I, you know, I, I didn't even know I could use my left arm, I just thought you'd turn your right arm over and, and that's how you, you do things and, um, but I mean, during that high school period, I sort of learned a lot about myself. Uh, which is probably important before anyone try to enforce their, their will or the, you know, the, the cricketing laws on, onto me. I think it's all about perseverance first of all, because I remember you know, when you first chat varsity, they ask you which school you went to and you know, if you went to a more traditional school, they already have that um, expectation that you, you can play the game and they asked me, listen, um, what school do you go to? I'm like, I went to Springs Boys High and already they have this, they cast this doubt on you. So for me, first and foremost, I, I built that resilience um, 
you know, from Springs, uh, from Springs Boys High, and um, I think the, the biggest thing is you build that resilience. You get to that more structured setup, and again, it's more of a case. You know, you have that East Rand thing where you know they ask me what school you go to, and they assume you don't know what you're doing, and then you know my whole career has been like I'm going to show you. Um, what I can do, you know, you, you might think I'm from Springs and you might put me in the second team for God knows how many games, but I'm going to prove a point, you know, by the time I leave this uh, varsity or this institution, I'm going to leave better than the person that you thought I was. So, again, you know, going and that you only get that from, you know, working hard um, through, you, through your career, you know, I never played provincial schools cricket in my whole entire life. Uh, and I mean, two years after I finished school, I, I played amateur cricket, so you know, I couldn't have been that bad. But you know, making, not making those teams, I always used to say to myself, listen, um, it's not a reflection on me that I'm not being picked. You know, they can only pick 15. Um, that doesn't make me um, any less than those guys. And you know, while those guys are at their coke weeks, um, I can actually just get better as a person because they could be at coke week and making ducks or getting smashed that 10 and over where I'm here and there's no consequences, I'm getting better and the next time I get that opportunity, I'll be ready for it. Look again for me, because my development was very, very late in terms of even understanding the fundamentals of cricket, like the, you know, the small things that actually matter, you know, everyone can bowl quick, everyone can hit the ball out of the park. Um, but the fundamentals, because I only knew it pretty much when I got to varsity and even at franchise level, you know, probably two years ago, I was still learning things that guys that went to Saints were learning in grade nine. I was learning now because, you know, I never had, I, I had the facilities, just uh, you know, not that knowledge. Um, and, you know, Bauchi came to me and he played a big role in my career and he said, you know, Junior, what's the one thing that you can do really well? And I was like, well, I think I can bowl quick. It's like, okay, you can bowl quick. So when you go to the net, that's your primary focus. Learn how to bowl quick consistently and come with that intensity every single practice. And, you know, I remember I still laughed at him when uh, he said, bowl quick, line and length will come with experience and you, you will get that. And I will guide you along the way. But up until then, I need you to be you. The only thing I'll focus on is the one thing that I can re do really well, you know. There's not many guys that can bowl 140, 145 um, in the country and that's something that I have. So I need to make sure that I'm on top of that game and, you know, like last season um, or the last two seasons when I started getting that break breakthrough, I started sort of focusing on actually what really mattered, which was light and length because at international level and even at franchise level, you can't really get away with pace. Um, and it's something I'm still learning now. Look, I, I think I bring a lot of preparation in that sense. So I will know, you know, if, if we, for instance, playing the Cobras, I'll go through that bang lineup and sort of identify, you know, their weaknesses and, 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 and their strengths. But ultimately, you know, those first two or three overs, I'm still trying to be myself because, you know, they, they might be strong on the, on the drive, but, you know, they're strong on the drive to other bowlers. Like, I, I consider myself as a different bowler, you know. I, I might have a bit more extra bounce or a bit more skid, be a little bit more skiddier. So, yes, he's had success on the drive against other bowlers. That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to have that success against me. So, um, again, with this environment at the Titans, they always try to make sure that your, your go-to plan is be yourself. And when a batter is in, that's when you start figuring out, okay, well, you know, the footage that I saw during the week showed that he was good on the drive. So, you know, maybe just bring the length a, a touch back. But I only do that, again, once he starts asserting his dominance. But before then, I try to make sure that I assert my dominance um, and not change anything before it's actually even happened. Look, um, you know, first and foremost, like, even playing SAA, was was tough for me because it was probably the first time that we had the best of the best in South Africa on a on an A tour. And I remember that year we South Africa went to we played England. So I mean in our four day team we had guys that were in our four day team that were gonna join up with the Proteus. So you know so now Timber's in my team, Tennis De Brain's in my team 
at the time, Aidan Markram obviously got called up uh, because Fuff's wife uh, was giving birth. So, you know, everyone there was, you know, basically playing for the Proteas now. So, um, that was tough for me in the sense that I didn't even expect to, to, to make that A tour, you know. Um, I was leading wicket taker, but, you know, you still, you still look at other guys, more established guys, and think they are better than you, and you're probably going to go carry drinks in England. Um, and again, you know, I had an SAA tour, did well there, played England, uh, India here, did well against them. You know, two months later, I'm playing for, for South Africa against India, and then a month later, you had the IPL. So, in terms of goal setting, I just thought, I'm going to play SAA six months, re and then for the next six months, reevaluate my goals to try and play for the Pro Tiers, and then if I do play for the Pro Tiers, then I'll reevaluate for another six months to try to get into the IPL and all those tournaments. And, you know, I finally find myself, or suddenly find myself in the space of five months, going from playing franchise cricket to the IPL. And, you know, I actually hadn't set my goals for that because it happened so quickly. So, yeah, it, I think that was the biggest adjustment. And, um, and, and maybe, you know, on reflection during lockdown, I was like, you know, maybe that's where I let myself down is that things have, not that I don't work hard, but things happened so fast um, and so quickly that maybe I got complacent at some point and thought it's just going to get easier and easier. And maybe I thought I was also going in with the same intensity as I was before, but I also needed to realize that, you know, sustaining that level of intensity at an international level means that you're going to have to do things that, you know, you can't, that you, that you weren't doing in the four previous seasons at the Titans. I mean, this is international cricket. There's no off season now. So how do I condition myself during the season, you know? So, yeah, but yeah, here I am now and lessons learned. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the season again. And uh, like, I think I'll see the best version of myself this year. Um, again, it's sort of just take it moment by moment because that's what COVID's done is, you know, I can't plan for three months down the line because I could be back in level four three months down the line. And that's probably what's happened in my career, especially when success started happening is that you play India, get picked to go to Sri Lanka and, you know, I thought my success against India would guarantee me playing the first few games in, in Sri Lanka and that's not how international sports works. So. Um, I'm done with expectations, you know. My expectation at the moment is, first of all, try to make the Titans team. Even though I play for the Pro Tiers, I need to try to make the Titans team and not expect to be in the team automatically. And then, you know, sort of whatever happens, happens. Because, you know, when I got dropped from the Pro Tiers last year, uh, all I could do was focus on the Titans. And even if I get dropped from the Titans, if I play amateur cricket, I need to focus on what's in front of me. And that would be the amateur game that I'd be playing there. So um, ultimately, I just need to stay fit, which is a biggest thing for me, stay fit, um, stay healthy, control the controllables. And, you know, if, if I do get picked for a tour later or whatever, um, I can't control that because that, that hasn't happened yet. And as it stands, we're probably gonna play in the first week of November, four day game. So that's what I'm preparing for. And then I'll reassess after that. Yeah, I think we, we, we box ourselves. I just think it's a, not even a sporting thing. I just think it's in society, you, you know, people say, okay, you bowl fast, so you're an okay fielder and you can't bat. And I think, you know, by the time I'm done with my career, all I want to know is that I gave my best, the best version of myself, not just in the bowling or in the fielding or with the bat. Like, I genuinely, in my head, I always tell the guys, um, you know, after five o'clock, I don't care if we not no wickets down, I'm going in at three. I'm going to be night watchman because I'm looking for the opportunity, opportunity to score a hundred. Um, I'm looking for an opportunity to win a game in a one day. Not that I'll, I'll bat higher than eight, but in my own head when I go train, I train as though I'm a number five and I don't want to box myself uh, with, with regards to that. So yeah, I want to give the best version of myself in all facets of, of cricket and you know for my team as well.